welcome back to my channel and happy Saturday. I know you're seeing this on Thursday, but I'm filming it on a Saturday. It is March 3rd. I have had a crazy productive morning. I took Denali for a walk. I did some strength training. I cooked myself a really nice breakfast and then I just finished filming two YouTube videos for the month of March because I do have some travel coming up next weekend actually I will be in Arizona for a bridal shower and I'm also going to see my family while I'm there so I'm really looking forward to that and I actually am going to film while I'm there there will be a vlog going up next week which will kind of be my my Arizona my Arizona adventures but I, oh, there's a cat here. I always sound so surprised, like I forget I have a cat. No, I don't forget. She just never really shows herself. Hi. Hey, pretty girl. But I actually just received something at my front door. It's a big package. I'm really excited because for those people that have signed up for Valiance, which was quite a few, as you can see from this, <laughs> from this box, I actually am sending a little something. It's just like a little gift just to show my appreciation for, for signing up for the program and for becoming a part of Valiance, you know, as a lifelong member. So I'm excited to get those all packaged up and shipped out. It's going to take me some time to package, to package up all of these gifts though. And I'm probably gonna have to make quite a few runs to the post office to get them out the door. In case you don't know, Valiance is my self-study coaching program for writers that launched on January 15th. So we're almost two months into it and I am loving every minute of it so far. So I will be running to the post office today. I do need to check my PO box. I have some additional things that I've received. So I will do a PO box haul in this vlog. I have a couple of things I wanna do for my personal development book. So I kinda of wanna go through some of the chapters and really kind of comb through them because I thought of some more examples and I guess personal life stories that I want to share that will really go along well with some of the chapters. And I did wanna let you know that last Thursday, March 1st, I actually did an interview with Emma from The White Room. It was a live stream interview that's over on her channel. I'll make sure to leave it linked down below but I shared a lot more information about my personal development book. So I would highly recommend going to watch that interview. There's a lot of great insight. Emma asked some really awesome questions, things that I haven't been asked before. So I think that you guys will glean a lot of information and insight from that interview. Is that what we're doing? Yes, yes, you're so sweet. Hi, hi. We're chasing each other. Okay, I've got the first round of packages all ready to go for the Valiance gifts, so I am going to drop these off at the post office. Alrighty, I've got my shoes on, so now it's time to set the alarm. Look at that, 77 degrees. Doesn't get much nicer than that. Just check my P.O. box. I have quite a few packages, so I will do a P.O. box haul when I get home. However, I realized that since it's only two o'clock, it's a beautiful day outside. I think I'm actually going to run and get my car washed, like the interior and the exterior, because it really needs it. It's just been raining nonstop here, and this is the first day. I feel like it's actually been sunny. I checked the forecast, and I think I'm going to be okay. <laughs> until it rains again. So I think I'm gonna get my car washed and then I may even run to Target because I do have a $100 gift card there and it's right by the car wash place. So yeah, I can always find things at Target. <laughs> car wash was really busy it's three o'clock but there's just something about having a super clean car look at how it's like shining oh my gosh it's seriously it's so beautiful as I'm driving I just saw that there is an orange theory fitness over here that's new that's awesome because as you guys, if you watch my bi-monthly goals video that just went up this past Monday, I was talking about how I want to incorporate more actual fitness classes like spin and yoga. So I'm so excited they have one by me. Yay. All right. So I am back now from Target. It's four o'clock. That was just 
it was just a long drive. I live really far away from everything. <laughs> but I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that I got. So, like I don't have enough calendars. I, I really like this one though. I had it last year and I couldn't find it and I forgot that I bought it at Target. So I got one for 2018. I also got a bridal shower card for when I'm in Arizona next weekend. And I also bought these really cute little antler things. It's like a cute little decoration. So I may put this in one of the spaces in my gallery wall or I may use it for my bedroom. I haven't really decided yet, but I know. I just love it. I thought it was adorable. I got a Namaste in bed shirt because it's just so soft and comfortable and I needed this in my life. Got some jean shorts because I really needed some more of those because I don't have any. And then last but not least, I bought some earrings. These are just your basic stud earrings and then this really pretty necklace. I don't know if you can see that. Oh yeah, I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. The other thing that I'm gonna do is grab all of my packages, cause there were quite a few of them out of my car and we're gonna do a little P.O. Box haul. Okay, so as you can see, I got quite a few things. The first thing I wanna show you guys is actually from the founder of Minx Lit from Sade. She sent me a Creative Hustle tote bag, which I love, I love the size of this. It's so perfect. I'm so excited to wear it around. So thank you, Sade, thank you so much. I also did get some additional whitening and desensitizing gel from Smile Brilliant from the collab that I did with them. I will pop it up in the card. I think it's on this side, we'll find out. I'll pop it up in the cards for you guys, but they sent me some more teeth whitening gel and desensitizing gel, which is so wonderful. I feel like I am all set to have a pearly white smile. I did want to show you guys that I did get Marie Lu's newest book, which is Batman Nightwalker. And actually it's signed. So I, she was here in Houston at Blue Willow Bookshop and I was going to go actually meet her in person and get my book signed, but it was snowing and rainy and there was ice on the road. And so they ended up canceling the event. I was so sad about it because she's like one of my idols as an author. And I really wanted to meet her in person, but I'm so happy that she still signed a bunch of these book plates and it's even personalized to me. It says to Kristen, which is really cool. So hopefully I will get to meet her in person one day, but I finally have a signed copy of one of her books. The next package I got is from TL Peterson over at the Wicked Hour. I was a guest on her podcast and she interviewed me and she sent me just the sweetest little thank you package. So she sent me a candle, which smells, it just smells incredible. Like I almost want to eat it, <laughs> it smells like candy. She sent me a little notebook that says, not all who wander are lost, which is one of my favorite quotes. An adorable bookmark with a K on it. And then she actually sent me the book Year of Yes by Shonda Rhimes, which is so exciting because I've actually been wanting to read this book and I just haven't, I didn't have a copy of it and I haven't gotten around to buying it. So I was so excited when I opened up her package and saw this. So like I mentioned before, I am no longer going to be reading the letters on screen in my blogs just for the sake of time, but I do wanna give a shout out to the people who did write to me. So we have Tamara from Georgia, Miranda from the Netherlands, Tometa from South Carolina, Evie from Texas and Donna from South Africa. So I just want to say thank you to all of you who wrote to me. Seriously, so sweet. I love all your letters and I will do my best. I will endeavor to write back to you as quickly as I possibly can. I also did get a package from Samantha in Canada and she actually sent, it was so sweet. I've already taken them off. I posted some videos on Instagram. She sent these really cute toys for both Denali and Lacey. But also you guys just look at how beautiful this, the artwork on this letter is. I love it. So thank you so much, Samantha, for sending that to me and for sending some treats for my pets. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the February box for Minx Lit. I feel like I'm running a little bit behind on my Minx Lit unboxings. These boxes are for the Creative Girl Boss. So I love every one of my boxes every month that I get it. If you wanna save money on your order, you can find my discount code in the description box below. All right, so it looks like February's theme was Money Talk. First thing in here is a BPA-free water bottle, which is fantastic. I can I can never have enough water bottles. Also a multifunctional hug light. It's a hands-free, flexible, LED light. There's an adorable little notebook for your thoughts. There is some lip scrub from Soaring Suds. There is a sweetheart bath bomb. Perfect because I take bubble baths every single night. There is a really pretty necklace. It's just a double, it's like a two-tier necklace with a heart and it's gold. I really like that. And then the book of the month is Your Creative Career by Anna Sabino, which is turn your passion into a fulfilling and financially rewarding lifestyle. Again, all things I love to hear. So this was the Minx Lip Box for February. I'm sure my one for March will be 
coming pretty soon and I will do my best to unbox it actually in March. But you know, February was, it was a weird month. It was kind of short, so it is what it is. But again, if you guys want to sign up for Minx Lit and save some money, make sure to check out my discount code in the description box below. The aftermath of my unboxings is always fun. So I decided to take all of my makeup off and I just finished taking Denali for another walk, but it was actually more of a run because I just felt like I needed exercise and she was anxious because she's, she's always down to go for a walk. But I wanted to just kind of get all the makeup off of my face. You know, I don't know, I hate feeling grimy, if that makes sense. And just wanted to take another walk. You can see the sun's going down. I think I may, I think I may have just missed the sunset, but there's this really pretty area that is public domain for people to walk through here and actually sit on this little ledge and look out into the water. It's always so awkward because you can see like there are people's backyards, <laughs> but technically this little area of land is public domain. And I'm sort of scanning the area to make sure no one's outside looking at me like why in the world is this girl <laughs> sitting there with a video camera. But I just thought it would be so nice to kind of have this be the background because it's so beautiful. And I was really just reminded today to really just enjoy the little things and to remember kind of what life is all about and to take the time to marvel at the stuff that's right in my own backyard. Like I've lived over basically on the lake for over two years now and I used to come and sit here a lot and I'd bring my journal and actually bring my little mug of coffee and my little travel mug and I'd sit here and I would look out over the water as the sun came up and I would journal and write and I can't tell you the last time that I did that and I used to come sit here and I would watch the sunset as well because as you can see it's just like it's stunning it's just a beautiful it's it's just beautiful so this is just a reminder to take some time to explore your own backyard, to explore your city, to kind of find find new things to go do or find a way to renew enjoyment in old things or things that you haven't done in a while. Because sometimes we can get so caught up in looking too far forward or living in the past that we really forget to be present in the moment and truly appreciate everything that is around us. So tonight's just I don't know, it's just a really good reminder to, to soak it all in because this moment right now is all that is guaranteed. Are you pooped from our rendezvous? <laughs> okay, so it is like super dark out now and I'm actually going to change out of these workout clothes and put on more of like a pajama situation because that just sounds really, really nice right now. Oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna change real fast. All right, so we're going with my only good days shirt. And let's just see, oh my gosh, yes, these are ridiculous and I'm loving them. Only problem is that when I'm talking into the camera, I can see the glare and that's a little bit bothersome sad oh well so I'm currently in my office I've just been uploading some of the footage from this camera actually and after going to kind of clear my head a little bit and just look out at the lake and how beautiful it is I just feel so much more clear-headed and focused with some of my projects I've been working on and what I want to do with them so it is almost eight o'clock now so I'm actually going to work on a few things on my computer and then I'm actually going to go ahead and go lay down and just start winding down and actually read Keeper, which I am this close to being done with it. I'm loving it so far. If you guys want to hear my thoughts, make sure you're following me on Goodreads because I do rate and write reviews of all of the books that I read. So you can find that link in the description box below. And just so you guys know, all of my links for everything you could ever possibly want to know is always in the description box below. 
so yeah i'm gonna get to working on some stuff on my computer and then we will wander over to the bedroom <laughs> I've got my real <laughs> reading glasses on now, but I just finished reading Keeper and oh my goodness you guys I loved this book. If you don't know Keepers by Kim Chance. She is a fellow author tuber I just adore her and this book had me flipping the pages so quickly Like I love the world that she's built I loved all the pop culture references because I'm a huge superhero fan and you know I'm just a really big nerd So I found myself laughing out loud at some of the dialogue between the characters It was just really witty such a charming story and there were quite a few plot twists at the end that I did not see coming and as a reader you guys all know that I love to be surprised so I really really enjoyed this book I highly recommend picking up a copy of this book if you haven't already and giving it a read because I know how hard Kim worked on this book and her effort really shows in her debut novel it's such an amazing book and I truly truly enjoyed every minute of it so it is 9 30 in the evening and I think I'm actually going to go ahead and close out the vlog here just because I'm actually feeling pretty tired I did a lot today it was a good day very productive but I'm ready to just kind of you know wind down get away from the camera even though I love filming it's just nice to kind of shut down and not be around technology and I'll probably actually start or pick back up reading A Court of Mist and Fury because this is one behemoth of a book and I'm a little bit past the halfway mark or maybe I'm actually exactly halfway so I think I started reading this book last September, which yeah, it's been a while, but I still remember everything that's happened. I think just so much stuff got in the way between Shadow Crown's release and then the holidays approaching in NaNoWriMo and I was traveling a lot. So, you know, this is not a book that I really carry on a plane with me and I don't have the ebook version. So my reading definitely fell by the wayside, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and read maybe a chapter or two of this and then go ahead and go to bed. But I did wanna let you guys know that I've had quite a few people ask me, which this is, I was so flattered when I kept receiving these emails. It actually really surprised me, but I've had quite a few people reach out to me asking if there is another way or if I could offer another way for people to support me without you know necessarily buying my books or buying my programs because I know that my programs and my webinars are an upfront investment. And so I was really flattered by this and decided, you know what? you know, I'm gonna go ahead and find a way to do this. And it was really cool because Jubilate reached out to me in an email not too long ago, so I felt like it was the universe sending me a sign. And if you don't know what Jubilate is, it's basically a tip jar for creators. So you can donate $1, $5, $10, or a custom amount. I will leave the link in the description box below. It's also in my Instagram bio. But you know, if you feel inclined to donate to support my YouTube channel and the content that I'm creating and putting out there, specifically my free content, then that would be wonderful. And if you don't wanna donate, then that's wonderful too. Honestly, I get so much from this community in the first place, I can't even begin to tell you guys. So I just wanted to provide that option for those people who had asked for it. So again, you can find my link for Jubilate in the description box below. I've got some really exciting and fun videos coming your way this month in March. So make sure you're following me on social media like Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat so you don't miss out on any announcements or things. I tend to announce a lot of things on social media before it actually pops up here on YouTube since I'm only posting to YouTube twice a week, but I post to social media every single day. So make sure you're following me there. And as you guys are seeing this vlog, I'm actually getting ready to head to Arizona. I'm gonna be out of town for a bridal shower and I'll be able to see some family and friends. So I'm really looking forward to that. So again, follow me on social media if you kinda wanna keep up with me and yeah, see what I'm up to. Other than that, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel or click on my Jubilate link to support me that way. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.